So here's my top three biggest mistakes I made when I first started reselling. So my number one is pretty obvious, it was taking bad photos. I took really bad photos all the time. I didn't have any lighting. I took them outside in the grass a few times and um, they're really bad. And a lot of these pieces from three years ago are still listed today and they still haven't sold and they're like $5 or less. And um, it's really not even worth trying to find them and post them again, like take my photos again. But um, it was, it's a big waste of time taking terrible photos of clothing because when you do that, nobody wants to buy them. And uh, in the end, you're sitting on pieces and you're selling them for less just because they're just not appealing and they just look really bad. So take your time, um, try to make your photos look as quality as possible, get good lighting. I bought probably around $80 worth of lighting um, from Amazon and it's really changed the game entirely and my photos look great now. I have a great aesthetic. I get a lot of compliments all the time uh, from people just in my messages just telling me how great my photos look. So uh, my first biggest mistake was taking bad photos. My second biggest mistake was international shipping. So when I first started out, I actually didn't know that there was um, a heavy cost when it came to shipping things international. Uh, certain countries can get up to $50 and I didn't know that. And um, I just thought it was a little bit more at the time. So I think I listed my international shipping for like $10 and I sold a bundle to someone. I think it was Australia. I really don't remember. But it, the total came out to $49 and I had to pay it out of pocket because I felt really bad to refund them because the person asked me if the, I did international shipping before he even bought them and I said yes. Um, so I wasted, I did that like three times and all three times I didn't refund them because I, I was a little bit of a pushover and um, I felt really bad because I think all three of the people asked me if I had international shipping. I said yes all three times. And um, I ended up paying $20 out of pocket on every single one. Uh, around some, that one of them was the 30, a lot of money. But um, international shipping, make sure you know um, where it's going. I put mine typically at $50 now if I want to do it. I don't do it anymore. If people ask me to, I will. I'll ask where they're located at and then I put in a quote on pirate ship and it'll tell me how much it is. So um, uh, if people want international shipping, just quote it and you can get an exact uh, price or a good guess and um, you can charge them the right price so you're not suffering like I did when I first started out. So don't mess up on your international shipping. So my third and final mistake that I made for probably around six months in a row, um, honestly a little bit longer maybe, I don't remember, I used to go to the post office in person every single time and make them print my labels. And there's two things wrong with doing this. Uh, the first thing is you're wasting a ton of money. You're wasting thousands of, like for me now, it would be thousands of dollars every single year. I think last year I saved $5,000 plus on pirate ship just by sh printing my own labels at home through a third party. That's 20% off on every single label. And um, that saves me a ton of money. So I was going to the post office and I was shipping shoes and the shoes would cost like $16 to ship out. And um, people would constantly ask, they would be like, oh, why are why is your shipping prices so expensive? And I'm like, dude, the post office, like you can't ship them for any cheaper. And I didn't know any better, no one told me, but I was shipping them out for really expensive prices. And then when I started getting more popular uh, six months in, I had a lot, I would go there with a uh, 10 to 15 packages, sometimes as high as 20. And I'd feel really bad because I'd hold up the line and getting all these labels. And at the time I felt like I was the only one because nobody was walking into the post office with 10 to 20 packages that needed labels. And later I realized I'm the only one because I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, you need to print your own labels. Like if you don't, you're wasting time and money. Um, it might be a little bit hard to learn, but I don't think it is. It's really easy. And once you get it done, I prefer to do it because I hate going to the post office. It's the slowest thing in the world to waste them. It's, it's like, it's stressful and it just takes a lot of time and it takes your money. So uh, print your own labels is my third thing. Don't go to the post office. So those are my top three mistakes that I made when I first started reselling. I'm sure there are plenty more, but those are just the ones off the top of my head. 
And uh, on another note, I'm making a full guidebook on how to be successful on Depop and how to turn it into a six figure revenue business. And basically I go over everything that I've learned in the past three years and I give you guys step by step what you should be doing and a daily checklist of what you should do every single day. It's what I do as well. And it goes really into the nitty gritty of how to produce the maximum amount of sales you possibly can um, and how to save as much money as possible along the way. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Leave a like, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.